Hey folks, Ben from Snowies today with probably the most versatile sleeping bag in the Cedar Summit range. It's called the Ascent and I'm going to tell you all about it. Let's check it out. Hit it. Ben from Snowies here folks, today with the Cedar Summit Ascent sleeping bag. Now this is a downfield bag, it's probably the most versatile bag in the Cedar Summit series. It's adaptable to just about anything you want to do from camping right through to cold weather adventures. Now there's three bags in the series, I've got the AC3 in front of me here. It comes in an AC1, AC2 and an AC3. Each version comes in a regular and a long size and which one you choose depends on how warm you want it to be with the AC1 being the coolest, AC3 being the warmest. Now I've got the Ascent AC3 in front of me here. The temperature range across the series of the Ascent bags goes from two degrees comfort for the, the coolest bag in the series through to minus 11 comfort for the warmest, but that warmest will take you through to a minus 18 degree uh, limit of comfort, which is where a standard man will generally sleep comfortably. Now with your uh, Cedar Summit sleeping bag, the down ones come with a storage bag like this. This is just a lightweight storage bag so you can store your bag lofted. It's the best way to store your down bag. You do get an ultra seal compression sack so you can squash it right down to fit into your pack easily. And you get a down certificate which is uh, an official certificate um, uh, uh, that came off the test of the down in the bag. Have a look at it when you get your bag. Most of the time the loft of the down inside your bag tests much better than the actual advertised rating so check that out when you get your bag. Now the sizes of the bags, the regular, which is this guy here, will see the user up to 183 centimetres. Also comes in a long length, gives you obviously a bit of extra length, up to 198 centimetre user, and also gives you a bit of extra width throughout the bag. Looking at the fabrics the bag's made of, now the outer of the bag is a 20 denier nylon, as is the interior of the bag, the lining here, also a 20 denier nylon. And that's containing within a 750 plus loft ultra dry goose down. Now the ultra dry down has got a, a, a nano treatment on it that's all but eliminated the effects moisture has had on the down in the past. So it performs pretty well even in damp environments. Now while we're inside the bag, I'll show you some of the features. Firstly at the top here, we've got a neck baffle both on the, both on the top and, or bottom and the upper side of the bag here. So this is an enlarged sort of baffle of down here and around the base it stops hot air escaping up out the bag. Just under that at the top here is a little uh, storage pocket, keep your necessities or your um, uh, personal items at hand. Down the side of the zip here, it runs right down the side and along the foot section is a draft tube to stop cold air escaping through the zip or warm air escaping through the zip. And alongside those zips is an anti-snag system that actually really works. I've, I've not seen any that work quite like the Cedar Summit ones do. You can zip this as much as you want and no fabric actually gets caught in the zip. It works really well. Now talking about the zippers in the bag, there's actually three in total in the Ascent bag. And it forms part of Cedar Summit's free flow zip system. So on this side of the bag here where I am is a half zip. And what that allows me to do is create a level of versatility in the bag that we probably haven't seen before. So we can fold the top half of the bag down like this. So it allows us to keep our legs and our feet warm and our top half uh, cool down on a, on a warmer night. That zip finishes halfway down. Alternatively, on the other side of the bag here, there is a full length zip that runs right down to the foot section. Now, this bag is uh, zip coupling compatible, which means a left-handed unisex bag, all unisex bags in the Cedar Summit range are left-handed, will couple up or zip to a right-handed women's bag. The zip here is the same length for the bags across the series, provided they're marked zip coupling compatible. So moving down to the foot section here, we've got a second zip that overlaps the, the main side zip here, so no cold can escape throughout there. And this zip allows us to zip the foot section open from both ends, so we can create a bit of ventilation for our feet on a warm night. Now just while we're on the foot section here, this is a three-dimensional foot section or what they call anatomical foot section. So it's not flat, it gives us a bit of volume or a bit of dimension so that our feet aren't cramped up in the end of the sleeping bag here. So talk about the general construction of the bag. As we move up here, the bottom half of the bag here is horizontal baffles. Um, there is actually another little baffle in the side here, a little divider in the side here that stops the down moving from the top to the bottom. And there's a 60-40 ratio. So 60-40% of the down is on the top, 40% is on the bottom. In the top half of the bag here, we've got vertical baffles. Now what that does is keep the down nice and high up over the top of the body for maximum efficiency. And one important thing I'll note here is that this is actually not a sewn through construction. So this stitch here on the top isn't sewn through to the stitch on the bottom. There's a little bit of fabric between those two stitches, which creates an even or continuous layer of insulation all around your body for maximum warmth. 
I want to crawl inside the bag, show you how comfortable it is. Now I'm 185 centimeters tall, so this bag they say is for a user up to 183. So technically I'm a little bit tall for this bag. Now this free flow zip system makes it really easy to get into the bag. In fact, even sitting up in the tent here, it would make it super comfortable just to be able to sit up and, and read a book or eat my meal. Now I can feel I've got tons of room for my feet in the end there, plenty of volume. If I like that, I can very easily do the zips up. Thanks to this anti-snag panels on the sides here. I could easily do it from the inside. There's little extended zipper pulls. And even though I'm too tall for this bag, I've got heaps of room for my feet at the end there. I've got quite a good amount of space around each side. I could actually push my arms out and feel like I've got probably 10 centimeters between my arms and my body. So I've got a good amount of space here. I'm starting to feel warm already. I can pull the hood over my head here and I've actually got two draw cords because of the free flow zip system. There's one draw cord on the side here, which is all caught up at the moment. And that does up the panel across the front of my face here. And then there's a second draw cord that tightens up the hood over the top here. So I can pull it up really tight around my head. And I am feeling pretty warm and comfortable here right now. So. I won't lie here all day though. Uh, what I do want to show you is how to pack the down sleeping bag away. So let's do that. Now when you pack up your down bag, you don't want to try and roll it. Yeah, you, firstly, it's just going to make it really difficult to get back in the stuff sack. And secondly, rolling it's not good for the down. It kind of flattens it out and creates big sheets rather than maintaining the loft. What you want to do is stuff it in the bag. Just gently stuff it. You don't want to be damaging the bag. There are um, sort of lightweight baffles inside the bag. There's a fair bit of construction in this. So you don't want to damage it. You just want to start by gently stuffing it in the bag, get it into the bottom. I like to put it between my feet. And as you go, make sure you stuff it right to the bottom first. You don't want to leave it all to the last minute to try to be jamming it all into the bag. So I just work my way around the bag here until it's all inside. Now, provided you squash it in from the, like nice and tightly from the bottom first, that goes back in the bag pretty easily. Now it is a compression sack, so we can pop the cap over the top here and squash it down even further. But just as a comparison, standard one litre Nalgene bottle, and that's the bag uncompressed there. If I put a bit of pressure on the top here and tighten up these straps down the side, I'll be able to squash far more out of the bag to make it fit inside a pack much easier. Now, you can probably keep going all day squashing this. It'll just keep squashing down further and further, but that's probably about as much effort as your average person's gonna put in. There's a bit of a comparison for you uh, against your standard one litre Nalgene bottle. Now these ascent bags are super versatile. If you're looking for something to kind of do everything from hiking and backpacking to even travel, just for general camping or even for cold weather environments, the Ascent's kind of got everything you need for comfort, versatility, and lightweight. You can grab them online at snowies.com.au Lowest prices every day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, don't click away from us yet. If you thought that was useful, subscribe to our channel and you'll get all of our latest and greatest information. Got any questions? Let us know down below in the comments. Just give us a thumbs up or check out our other See the Summer Sleeping Bag videos like this one down here.